I just want to get an assessment from you on what exactly Mr. Zelensky is able to take home at this point. We understand that the Russians, of course, are planning that spring offensive. In your mind, is he going to be able to push back? Um, I believe that Moscow will launch an offensive of some kind. I don't think it will be very successful. Um, what Zelensky brings back from this trip at this point is it looks like a new package, package of sanctions, a general commitment without specifics on arms, and a, it seems to be a commitment from the Brits to train Ukrainian pilots. Um, that's not a bad result, but it's not a great result. He needs specific weapon systems that would not just stop the Russians cold as they launch an offensive, but enable him to launch an effective counteroffensive. That means he needs more tanks beyond the, those that have been committed, and it's those tanks to arrive in the spring, not sometimes late this year. He needs something called longer range fires. These missiles, which have a range of 300 kilometers and a, a big payload, which the Americans have, the Attackums in particular. And he needs the actual Western warplanes like F 16s. Yeah. And the reality is, um, as someone who's covered Brussels extensively, as well as this crisis, they actually want to be a part of Europe. How much closer are they, despite all of these meetings and all of these words, to making that a reality? Well, among the good things that have happened since this massive Russian invasion is that you is committed that Ukraine can join once it meets the requirements. Um, that is a big deal. And I suspect that at some point when Ukraine has won this war, Ukraine will fulfill those requirements. That's a, that's a very large step. But first, they've got to win the war. And that comes back to those requests that Zelensky has been making now for 11 months.